everyone welcome back to my channel um i'm just gonna sage your cards out really quickly and then we're gonna jump into the cards and see what messages the universe has for you i felt like i needed to light this sage guys for your cards because i was picking up a lot of energy that some of you are not feeling like your normal selves okay um life may be changing for you extremely fast and it happened like all of a sudden out of the blue. So I was picking up a lot of that type of energy. So we're gonna see what comes out for you. All right, I'm just gonna put this over here and let it burn out. All right, so we're gonna get some message cards first and then we're gonna jump into some tarot. What messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? What message? Your first card fell right on the floor and it is ship. Okay, so some of you may be going on a trip, you may be going on a cruise, or you're wanting to plan a cruise, you're wanting to get away. Either you're going on one or you're thinking about booking a trip. You also have worried. I'm worried that it might be too late to make things work between us. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Chaos, difficult experiences, heavy burdens, testing your strength. There's somebody here that you're going through a lot of um, chaos and drama with. We also have gullible. Set and honor your boundaries. And don't fear walking away from situations that are not good for you. All right, so let's stop here for a second. Are some of you planning a trip because you need time away? You just need to clear your head. I feel like um, you could have been trying to plan this trip on a cruise with someone else. But this person is stressing you out. Maybe they're not coming through with the money. Or maybe they can't make up their mind about whether they can actually go or not. You know what I'm picking up here? That um, I'm channeling. Somebody may have lied to you. They may have told you that they were going to plan a trip with you and you guys are going to go on a cruise. And I feel like this person may actually have someone that they're dealing with. But they may have told you, oh, it's no problem. I can get away from this person. And now you're realizing that they can't. I don't know who this is for. But take it out. It resonates if you're, um, I mean, take it for your, you know, how it works for your situation if you're resonating with this is what I meant to say. But for others of you, I feel like you're just, you know, planning a trip, wanting to get away. You're trying to get away from this type of energy. Because something here is, um, is stressing you out and you want to get away from this chaos of the situation. But I feel like this person is worried. It says, I'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us because maybe you're like, okay, this is it. I'm not dealing with you anymore. Like you play too many games. Maybe it's like your person plays too many games. They may promise you things and don't keep their promise. They go back on their word a lot. Spirit messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? Trial and error. We got two cards that slipped out here. If you if you're not living with someone right now, some of you may move in with your person, or you may move back in with your person. We have moving in together, together living with someone, or someone miss being home with you. Like you guys may have watched movies all the time, or you just spent a lot of time with each other. Now I feel like you're protecting yourself from this person. It says needing to keep yourself safe. So something could have happened. Now with this trial and error card, this is something having to do with the job situation. Some of you are feeling like what you're working on is not your life purpose. And you keep trying different jobs. You're trying. Some of you may even be trying to figure out what your life purpose is. Okay, you may be like, I don't know what, what it is that I'm meant to do for work. But whatever it is that you're doing right now, you feel like this isn't it for you. You need to try something different. So some of you may be leaving your job or you're thinking about leaving your job to go into a different career. You may be being pushed 
um, to that position. Um, and what I mean by that, it could be the universe letting you know something. Some of you may get a call, a phone call from someone who's in jail. We have legal issues, unexpected call. This person may start chasing you after not wanting to be bothered or not giving you any attention. All of a sudden, you hear from them. And it may surprise you or sort of throw you off. All right, we have cemetery, resting place. Some of you may be going to a funeral. You just lost someone in your family or a friend. Maybe that's why this energy was so heavy. I'm telling y'all, when I was doing your pre-shuffle, I was feeling a lot of heavy energy. I was like, let me break out my sage. Some of you are wondering, will things get better in your life or will you be able to deal with something or get over something? And it could be um, that you had some loss in your life here unexpectedly. So what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know? We have toxic AF. Maybe you're dealing with a toxic relationship, but this person is still holding on to you. And your cards are flipping out of the deck. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have toxic work environment and toxic relationship. Some of you may be dealing with both right now. And you're feeling a lot of heavy energy around it. We have terrible arguments. Mentally abusive. This person may say things out their mouth. And you're like, where did that come from? Like, why are you talking to me like that? But this is somebody who's still holding on to you. You may still be holding on to this person as well. Maybe some of you don't know um, if you're ready to leave this person. You're like, okay, things are toxic. You know, there's a lot of arguments between the two of us. But, you know, is it something that we're just going through? Will we get over it? And we have toxic work environment. So some of you are ready to leave your job. There could be a toxic situation at work where your boss or your supervisor is always on your back or they don't see the good that you do but as soon as something bad happens they point that out they're ready to write you up or maybe someone throws a lot of work on your desk after they already see that you have that you're inundated with a lot of work like they act like they don't care and if you're wanting to get out of that situation what messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? Some of you are about to work from home. And we also have ignoring, not understanding each other, not getting along, not talking. Some of you are not talking to your person, but that's because I feel like you, you may be like, okay, I don't care right now because I have a lot on my mind. Some of you feel like you need relief, like I need a break. It's one thing after another and you've had enough. But something may really change drastically in your life. If you're in this toxic work environment, some of you may get a job where you're able to work from home. So keep your head up. Try not to stress about your situation because I feel like things is actually going to work out in your favor. I feel like the universe is sort of trying to tell you something. Especially if you're thinking about leaving your job. Universe is saying it's okay, but you may be afraid to do so. Of course, right? Because that's how you pay your bills. You're like, okay, I don't like this job. And I don't like my boss or my supervisor or my manager or whatever it is for you. But I need this job because that's how I pay my bills right now. So you may feel like I can't just up and leave until I find something more, like something different. That either pays you more or pay you the same. But I feel like some of you are going to find um, a better job here. So what messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? Yep, exit plan. All right, so some of you, you're leaving a situation. You're going to find new love because these two came out together. A new door and love awaits, but it's up to you if you open it or not. Someone wants out, but they aren't making a move just yet. So some of you may be like, I don't know. I, like, I, I know that I can't deal with this person or this situation anymore. 
but I'm not sure if I'm ready to just walk away from it all. You're just thinking things out. Like I always say, give yourself time. You don't have to rush. Spare, so what messages do you have for the collectives? Some of you have a deadline. Yeah, you're starting. Some of you are starting over. This is about work for some of you. This is not even about love for some, okay? Because we have deadlines starting over, moving out or moving on. I'm tired of this job. <laughs> some of you are going to walk away from a job and you're like, okay, you're making some sort of deadline where you're like, okay, this is when I'm going to do it. You're like, maybe let me save some money. I feel like you may have something marked on your calendar. Also, the universe is saying it's time for a work-life balance. Some of you are all work and no play and it's stressing you out. The universe is saying you need to take some time for yourself. Maybe get out the house if you can and just do something for you. Maybe have a, a you day where you get your hair done, your nails done. Or, you know, if you're a male, find something to do that excites you that doesn't have to do with work. And you know, for a female, we always can find something like, you know, we can get our hair, nails done, feet done, go shopping, go to the mall <laughs> and, you know, or spa day, something like that. And we'd be good. Right. Yeah. All right. Spirit messages. Do you have? Yeah. Blindsided. Didn't see it coming. Isolation. Being emotionally removed. Choosing to be alone. Some of you don't even want to be bothered right now. Yeah, you just need a period where you can relax and take a minute to yourself and get your thoughts together without having to worry about things. I see relief is on the way because we have answers. Mystery reaches its resolution. Having answers and getting clarity. Your problems will be solved. Somebody here is praying for better days with you and you don't even know it. I feel like they may not... It's like they may not want to seem like... um they're chasing or stressing you out or bothering you. But behind the scenes, I feel like there's somebody who don't want to let you go, but they feel like you may be letting them go. But they don't know that you have a lot going on right now. You may feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and maybe you fight this person can't help. Overtime. Some of you are doing a lot of overtime. You're saving for something. You could be trying to buy a house or a car, or you're just trying to get on top of your bills. Maybe you don't have time to spend with anyone. You've been like, all I do is, well, some of you have more than one job here I'm picking up. And you'd be like, all I do is work and sleep. Some of you, all you do is work and sleep. And the universe is saying, at some point, you're going to have to give yourself a break. You're going to need it. You may be mentally overloaded or mentally drained. Some of you feel like your time is spread very thin. And I feel like somebody wants to talk to you or they want to get your attention. And you're like, this is not the right time. All right, Sarah, what messages do you have for the collective? We have clean up the will and the fire sign. Well, I'm glad I did like this sage for you because it came up in your reading. Purify your space and take time to pray and sage for positive energy. So the universe is saying some of you need to sage. Some of you don't um, know that your person is not seeing this situation as being over. You may be thinking it's over. This person hasn't been talking to you or you haven't been talking to them. It could be a fire sign in Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius here. But we have the will and clean up. Sweeping away negative situations. Yeah, like it's time. The universe is saying it's something negative in your life where it's time for you to get some sage or some Palo Santo, whatever it is that you like. You know, you can get that on Amazon or um, Etsy or eBay. You can get it in the stores too, but sometimes in the stores, sage is really pricey. So I get mine on Amazon. Um, it's really reasonably priced. But it is time for you to clean up your life. And I feel like if the universe is bringing in these changes and you're resisting because you don't understand it and it's all happening at once, there is some other plan for you that the universe has. But they're just, they're just needing you to like clean up what you have here and make space or make room or get rid of something that's no longer working for you. 
This was sweeping away negative situations, cleaning up your life, decluttering your mind. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune, a turning point, things working in your favor, big changes are coming. So just know that whatever you're going through right now, you're going through it for a reason. There is a reason behind it, and it is positive from what I'm seeing here. All right, let's get a couple more. Some of you are going to have luck and love, either new love or coming back together with someone. We have your love life will soon shift into a positive direction, and you're overthinking at the moment. Everything is going to work out soon. Yes, yeah, some of you are in your head big time. Get you some sage, okay? Just ask for whatever it is that you want. Cleanse your space. Clear your mind. Manifest what you want in life. I'm hearing the universe say manifest what you want. Ask for what you want because you're working hard. I feel like some of you are working hard on something and you're just like, I'm praying or hoping that it happens for me or that it comes in, but I'm not sure. So what messages do you have for the collective? Do they need to know? All these cards just like flew out of the deck. We have maybe unsure, indecisive. Some of you are unsure about something. You're like, I don't know. But the universe is saying, wait it out. Things may be rough for a bit, but the storm will pass and we have sleep on it. Some of you are not getting enough rest. You're not getting enough sleep. It says, you've done enough today. Revisit this tomorrow after a good night's sleep. Some of you may be tossing and turning in your sleep, or you may be waking up at like three in the morning or four in the morning and you don't get it. You're like, why do I keep waking up so early in the morning like this? And then trying to get back to sleep because you have to get up and go to work. All right, so we have endless worry. The universe is asking some of you to stop worrying. Things are going to be okay. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. And you have your overthinking. You're stressing yourself out. Everything is going to work out. It's going to be fine. The universe is asking you to have faith. We have the endless worrying is... Per I'm sorry. The endless worrying is preventing you from fully thriving. Trust in the divine and the plan that is unfolding for you. There's something that you don't see. It's a bigger plan here. The universe has a bigger plan for some of you, and you just don't see it yet. So now is not the time to give up on whatever you're working on, whatever you're wanting to happen in your life. Don't give up on it. Someone that you have trust issues with is going to come back and try to compromise with you. You may not even be in a mood to hear this person. It says, let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us. But you don't trust whoever this is and they know it. We also have potential, a new business. Um, it says new business requiring hard work. Some of you have a business that you're working on and you're putting a lot of hard work into this. Universe is saying this has potential to grow. So again, it's not the time to give up. Your investment is going to pay off. You will have a steady, stable business that will grow. Just keep working on it. Because some of you may be ready to give up because you're not seeing any results. Or you're not seeing the results that you want. You may feel like things are very slow. Some of you have a business right now and things are very slow. Some of you are going on an interview and you're going to get a job. We also have combative Anger and aggressive behavior create a combative environment. Don't add fuel to the fire. Yep. So if you're arguing with someone at work and you don't know what to do about it and it's stressing you out, the universe is saying, don't argue with this person because there's an interview coming in for you or lined up for you. If you apply for a job and you're going to get it and I feel like this person is going to be pissed off when you leave, especially if it's a supervisor or a manager, because they may not have anyone to replace you. Some of you are not going to give a two weeks notice. <laughs> I'm picking up the energy that you're like so frustrated that you're like, no, you don't get a two weeks notice out of me. We also have attraction, forgiveness, and surprise twist. Somebody is going to apologize to you. Somebody wants your forgiveness. They're still attracted to you. We have surprise twist. The hand that you're being dealt right now is not what's going to happen in the end. So it's going to surprise you how things turn out. It says, hey, just give me some time and I will be back better than ever. I want this friendship or relationship to work out. All right. So let's jump into some tarot. 
tank. I didn't already know that I was at 20 minutes. All right. Let's get some tarot. Sorry about the loud shuffling. These cards are new, so they make a lot of noise. Here, what messages do you have for the collective? All right. So we have the Ten of Wands. If you're dealing with the king of pentacles or you are the king of pentacles with the ten of wands here and you're going through a lot of burdens with someone some of you may feel like you don't even want to go home it's either you don't want to go home to this person or you don't want to see this person they may be trying to come see you or visit you this is someone who's having some money issues or stability and security issues in some way this person may be trying to get their life together. They may tell you that they're going to get their life together and you may not believe them. A Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Someone keeps thinking about... Oh, yeah. Did you cut this person off? Some of you could be an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius dealing with an earth sign, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. And this person is stressed out right now. And I feel like they want your help or they want your attention or they want you to just stick by their side. But some of you may be like, nah, I'm, I'm through with that. Like when you had it, you didn't appreciate it. So I'm done. Yep. Because it was too much um, instability with this person. Things weren't stable with the four of wands. Justice reverse. Somebody did something wrong, with, wrong to you and they're not apologizing. They're not making it right. But the justice reverse could be a Libra. reverse the roles as need be here but we have the tower coming out right behind this so some of you cut somebody off because you're like absolutely not no way that you're going to continue to play with me so there could be some changes happening in your relationship and you're finally having the courage to cut this person off or to pull away from them i feel like if this is happening to you like this shocked you and it definitely shocked your person yeah, because we have the page of pentacles. Did you hear the train just come by? <laughs> Confirmation. Some of you are like, I'm out of here. We have the king, the king of swords. Like that train was so loud. All right, anyway, so we have the king of swords and the page of pentacles reverse. You're not accepting this king of swords offer. Because you may feel like they keep coming back with the same offer. But every time you accept it or when you accept it in the past, they didn't change anything about themselves. And you're like, no, you will not get me again. You will not get me to listen to you and believe that you're going to actually change this time around. So what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know? The seven of wands. Who is this that's standing on business? Is this you or your person here? Ten of Pentacles reverse. Some of you are not helping somebody out and they feel like, um, yeah. So, okay. Be forewarned that someone may try to come back and ask you for money because they're struggling right now with the um, Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Seven of Wands. I feel like this person tried to hold back and not say anything, but they're not going to be able to. This is someone that you may have helped out in the past, but you may not be wanting to help this person anymore because you feel like they may have used you. Or they only know how to call you when they want something, when they're in need. Spare so what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know? Yes, seven of swords. Somebody is sneaking back your direction because they need something from you. But I feel like you're going to turn this person down. What they don't know is this time around, they're not going to get your help. The seven of cups. The Queen of Wands. It could be a fire sign. Um, let me get one more card because I'm channeling something here, but I need to get another card. So maybe it could be a Leo dealing with a Scorpio and you're tired of helping this person out. Yep. With the Sun card. Some of you are tired of helping out a Leo. Or you're tired of what's going on between you and this Leo. And you're like, should I leave or should I stay? There could be a Leo on, um, you could be a Leo dealing with a Leo here. There's strong Leo presence here. 
or you're a Scorpio dealing with the Leo. Take a heart resonates. Okay, flip the rolls. Maybe you're the Leo that's tired of the Scorpio, or you could be the Scorpio that's tired of the Leo. However, it resonates for your situation. Somebody here is tired. Yep, the Knight of Cups. Because this person is very moody. It's like one minute they want to come towards you and make something work, and then the next minute after you help this person, they pull away from you. Some of you, I'm feeling like you're learning lessons with your person. Oh. And this card just slipped out of my hand twice. Um, Yeah, you're out of here. Some of you are out of here. You're done. This person may not stand a chance in getting you back with the Six of Swords and the world. And I feel like the universe is pushing you in that direction. Because you did get the broom in your reading and your message card. You got the broom. It was time to clean up something. Well, you got all the walking away cards the eight of cups the lovers the magician you're manifesting someone new and the universe is sort of telling you it's time to give someone up so some of you walked away from someone you may have walked away from a virgo or a gemini maybe this person can't believe that you finally are over them and even if you're not over this person maybe you're just finally getting the um you're finally getting the courage to say i'm done and mean it full of pentacles if you're struggling with money that's all about to end there were some delays and money here for some of you with the two of pentacles things were in balance universe is saying trust your intuition some the universe is sending you messages we have pisces energy here strong with the high priestess and the hangman so for some of you you could be a pisces going through some money issues it could be anyone though because we have the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles there's an opportunity coming in remember in your message cards there was something about a job coming in you walking away from a situation and getting a better opportunity, whether it's in the company that you work for now or a totally different company. And the universe was telling you, don't stress it. Don't argue with someone because things are going to work out for you. So there could have been some delays in this situation coming through for you, but it is coming in with the Ace of Pentacles and the Upright. So if you were juggling money or saving money because you're like, okay, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. So I don't want to spend anything because some of you may be holding on to your money. The universe is saying you're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. That card just flipped right out of the deck. It was a two of cups reverse. Oh, you got the will of fortune. Some of you are about to, okay, let me just say this. Um, for some of you, I feel like now is not the time for love. And I know some of you don't want to hear it. But the universe may be wanting you to work on your finances because you have the will of fortune and the ace of pentacles here. There are some big changes coming in with your finances. Something is uh, final. There's a new opportunity. Something is finally going, is going to go the way you need it to. There is some lucky break coming in for you. So if, if you're looking at it like, okay, well... My love life is not working out the way I want it to. Everything sucks right now. It's going to fall back into place. It is. Just trust and don't resist in this direction that the universe is trying to take you. Because whatever this is with the two of cups reverse, where you may feel like it's draining you, it's a relationship that's draining you. Ultimately, you're either going to meet someone new or this person is going to get it together because we have the five of swords here. And the eight of wands, you're going to get a message or a phone call from someone who's going to tell you like, okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I want to reconcile. I regret treating you the way I did. But I feel like your mind is somewhere else. Your mind may be on your money or bills or something that you, some sort of debt that came in that you have to handle or, or even getting a new job. So the universe is saying you don't have to try to handle both of these i feel like the universe has this handled for you so don't resist whatever direction the universe is wanting you to flow in right now just go with it 
I see work and love being worked out for you. And you don't even have to do anything. You're going to get the truth here with the Ace of Swords and the King of Wands. There's a lot of fire in this reading. A lot of movement. Because wands are movement here. And I'm seeing a lot of wands in your reading and a lot of fire energy. Fire is fast moving. Also, we have the truth here. Fresh start, clear thinking, a new decision is being made. But what I'm also seeing here is that some of you may not trust this person. You may not believe them. So they may have messed this up for good because I did see the world and the eight of cups. So on their end, they may have to fight to get you back. But they may, um, I feel like the universe is going to let someone watch you come up. It's like they shouldn't have walked away from you. This per person shouldn't have treated you the way they did. Because I feel like even if you didn't have a lot of money, you might have been struggling. But you you, um, you helped them even when you were struggling. And now the universe is bringing something good your way. Like it really is with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. And this person is going to watch you come up. And it may seem like it's overnight, but this is something that you've been working for. You put a lot of energy and effort into this. And this person is going to wish that they never did you wrong. Yep. Oh, I'm telling you. Some of you were struggling with money and it's all about to change. We had the Empress and the Five of Pentacles come out. So you're going to be leaving someone out in the cold. Somebody can't come with y'all. Listen, they cannot share this luck, this fortune. I'm sorry, y'all, that I keep moving the cards, but they're slipping out my hands. Trying to hold on to them. Um, the universe is saying somebody can't come with you. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Some of you may be pregnant. I just feel like if it is, it's like a small percentage. That's definitely not for everyone. But with this Empress coming out with the Five of Pentacles, you're leaving somebody out in the cold. And the universe is saying it's okay. You tried to help this person. You was helping this person when you really didn't have enough, you know, for yourself. And now that the universe is going to bring abundance and prosperity your way, this person thinks that they're supposed to come back in and, you know, journey alongside you while you're having all of this good luck and abundance. No, the universe is saying, mm -mm. you know, this is where this change is coming in at. Someone may be wanting to talk to you. But you may choose to ignore this person because you're like, I don't want to be bothered. But it's meant for them to see you come up. You're going to come up. And this person is, um, they're going to watch you and they're going to feel some sort of way that they just didn't stick this out with you. All right. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.